In this video, we will discuss the auto layout feature of Figma. And, the auto layout feature can ease up your overall work, if you know how to use it right. Hi! I am Alex from Essential Web Apps. And, we make videos on WordPress, website and social media strategy, web design, and development. To see our regularly uploaded videos, please hit the subscribe buttons, and click the bell icon for notification. Okay, let's start with a button. This could be one of the most annoying things, if you do not use the auto layout here. Every time you have to change the padding of a button, and if you are working on a large-scale project, this can be overwhelmingly difficult. So, we have a rectangle and a text that says button. Now select both and click the plus button here, which says, auto layout. And, as you can see, if you set the padding from here, no matter what you write, it will be reshaped maintaining the padding of it. Okay, now let's work with something more complex. First, let's take a text body, with a heading and body. Select both and click Auto Layout. Keep it aside. Let's make another rectangle shape. Now, take an image, place it into the rectangle box, select both and click Auto Layout again. Now, set the padding of the box. Okay, this is the interesting thing about auto layout. You can literally drag and drop the auto layout elements into another auto layout element just like that. And it will be reshaped, and organized by itself as per default settings. Now let's change the settings, and make it more responsive. Let's set this to fill container. Not responsive yet. Let's select this body text box and set this from fix width to fill container. By the way, we set the vertical position to hug contents. Okay next, we will add another text for the price. Now, select both of these, and add auto layout by right click. Set it in the horizontal direction. Then select fill container. And, from here, select space between. And, it is responsive. Now, if I add more text here, the whole box will reshape with the text volume. But the heading is overlapping. Let's fix this. I am going to set this to fixed width and for the vertical position set it to hug contents. And, now it's not overlapping. But I want this price up here. So, I am setting its vertical position to fill container. And, this one is fixed too. As you can see, the image is not responsive to the box. So, for horizontal responsiveness, let's set it to fill container. As for vertical responsiveness, I am going to do the same. All done. Now you can do whatever you want, and try out new ideas, very easily, just by drag and drop. And, you can also change the gap between elements from here. As I already showed, you can also play around with padding. And, do some design modification very quickly without worrying about the numbers every time. So, there you go. The auto layout of Figma can be a huge time saver and can give you more to work with design but the numbers. I hope this video helped you. If you have anything to say, please comment. And, I will see you in the next video.